snaps back with a new version of spectacles, the sunglasses with a camera inside. Like the first version, these glasses record circular video for Snapchat. There's a single button that starts recording and the case doubles as a charger. So let's dive into what's new in version two. The big change is that they now take photos as well as videos. You just have to press and hold the button on the temple. Now the field of view of the lens has actually reduced a little bit. So it's now 105 degrees rather than 115 degrees. So this means you'll probably get slightly less in your shot, but it should compensate a little bit better for that fisheye effect. So things won't look so warped. But the big deal is that they are water resistant. Now Snap hasn't told us exactly how water resistant they are, but they'll be fine for splashing around in the pool or taking to the beach. And overall, the design is just lighter. So the electronics have been miniaturized, the temples are smaller, and it just feels lighter on the face. Meow. Come close to hear more wisdom. Relieve yourself a more monetary more money. No worries. Dual microphones make audio clearer than version one, and glasses wearers can swap in prescription lenses. Clips now transfer in HD, and that process is a lot faster thanks to a Wi-Fi connection. When you want to look at the photos and videos, the only way to do that is through Snapchat. Once they're transferred, you can rotate the phone around to view all parts of the image, and then share them out as snaps, or export them. But photos and videos will have white borders around the edges. Here's the thing, you actually can't film yourself with spectacles unless you hold them out like this, which doesn't look great. Sure, you can pull out your phone, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Ready for the soup and the dumplings. Oh, cut. <laughs> Photo and video quality is totally fine for viewing on Snapchat, with colours looking nice and punchy. Like many cameras with small sensors, things look best in daylight. Images in low light don't look great. But then again, if you're wearing sunglasses at night, image quality probably isn't your number one criteria. This is the stupidest yes. thing I've done. Snap's hoping to learn from the mistakes from version 1, because they only sold 220,000 of them. They're making them much easier to buy from the website rather than vending machines. These actually cost $20 more than the original version. And if you're anything like me, $150 is a lot of money to spend on a pair of sunglasses. I mean, they're not designer. Sure, they look nice, but in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking I could have used that money to go towards like a real pair of sunglasses, a real designer pair. So the question is, does having spectacles make you use Snapchat more or less? Now, Snap's hoping the answer is gonna be more. I found that when I've been using these and the previous version of spectacles, I was using them a lot when I first got them. But then over the period of about a month or two, I just stopped using them. And in turn, I just started pulling out my phone instead. And really over that period of time, since the first spectacles and this version, I actually use Snapchat a lot less as well. This is ridiculous, wearing my sunglasses in the mirror maze. Turns out, I'm not alone. From Snap's latest earnings report, the company had the slowest rate of user growth ever. And some of the most exciting things that Snap's working on, like AR games called Snappables, are still tied to the app itself. So the bottom line is spectacles are a lot of fun to use, but they're expensive and probably priced out of the reach of most Snapchatters. Not being able to record longer clips without constantly pressing the button is annoying. As for privacy, it's still a huge grey area. Even though the lights flash to show you're filming, you're still going to capture audio and video of people that probably didn't realize they were being recorded. And once the novelty of sunglasses wears off, sometimes it is just easier to pull out your phone to record a clip that you can watch everywhere rather than just Snapchat.